Hey everyone, my name is Brandon and I am the artist behind Brush and Brad Lenarts. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my step-by-step -step pieces and thought process on how I go about finishing this painting I did recently, The Dishonored Blue Spirit. So let's begin. Now, the idea started when I was playing this on it one day and I thought about the recent episode that I've watched uh, from Avatar, The Blue Spirit, and I compared it to Corvo and Zuko. It turned out to be very, very similar, very much alike. They used to be people of high positions who were brought down by other people of higher positions, and what they want to do is to redeem themselves in terms of honor. They want to bring balance back to their lives. Everything behind masks, and both of them have very iconic masks in both of the franchises, so I think putting them together will bring so much more into the world of fanfiction, so here it is, the fan art that I did, and I'm pretty proud of it. Now the next challenge is to think about whether or not I should bring Corvo into the world of Avatar or the Blue Spirit into the world of Dishonored, which is Dunwall. Now I chose to go with the latter because after going through the images, concept arts and all that, uh, this image of Corvo, this very famous wallpaper of Corvo with Dunwall as the background is a very good starting point and foundation of how I want it to be. Uh, the composition and background, everything can be from Dishonored and what I can do is to apply the elements from Avatar and the Blue Spirit onto that and that's how I've decided to put them together. Before I start ever painting an illustration, it is really important that I know how I want the final painting to look and feel. So this one is pretty simple because I have the foundation and composition locked down from the Dishonored wallpaper where Corvo is standing on top of the debris of Tallboy in front of the Red Heaven River. So on the left, I have gathered up references from Avatar which I'm going to be putting into that composition and um, what I have there is the Fire Nation airships a couple of uh, Fire Nation Navy ships and a Pohai Fortress which I'm going to be adding in the background not to mention the uh, most important thing is the Blue Spirit's mask and how his costume and his uh, sword, his dual sword looks like. A couple of fire pictures on the top right there is for later on when I've decided to add fire into the painting to make it feel more fireman. So I started off by blocking in the rough silhouettes of how the Blue Spirit would look like if he were to pose as Corvo according to how the Dishonored wallpaper is. Composition, everything is locked down. Uh, this is very simple, I just use uh, rough brush strokes, just one shade is black. Rough brush strokes, uh, also the lasso tool would help to uh, block in the big shapes. So the next thing I would do is to have rough lines to indicate later on where um, detail should be just to pinpoint them down like for example uh, the swords position uh, in perspective of course the mask very important how he is facing us how you know how he angled his head and you know stuff like that like creases of the shirt you know uh, the, the waistbands and his bracers and everything it's very important Next thing, of course, I've added in uh, the background environment, the lines for that. Also, very rough, just to tell me uh, where stuff should be according to the composition. So this is also very fun for me because I'm able to add in some storytelling elements as well as some easter eggs uh, as I wish. For an example, I've added in the Po Hoi Fortress in the background, which is really symbolic to the Blue Spirit because that's where he first appeared in the episode uh, of the cartoon series. Now the next thing I've replaced is the midground where the whaler ship used to be. I've replaced that with the fire navy ship which has the pointy front which unfortunately uh, you're not able to see in the final outcome because it's blocked by that wooden plating. Now in the foreground uh, I think it's the most important element because this one tells the time frame. Now what's interesting about this is that I've used the fire nation's airship which has crashed and burned uh, due to the fact that you know, right during the war between Ozai and Aang, he took down like a couple of Fire Nation airships while Sokka, uh, Toph and Suki took down the rest, like a dozen of it. It's amazing how everything went down, you guys have to watch it if you have not already. So um, yeah, the Fire Nation airship which has crashed and burned landed on the ground and the Blue Spirit just happens to stand on top of it, like 
it's dominating everything. Now, that's also very symbolic for the blue spirit because uh, Zuko pretending to be the blue spirit, you know, the, the man behind the mask, Zuko, which has been dishonored, the reason why he's wearing the mask is because he is doing stuff that is against what his nation believes in. You know, he is going against the laws of the Fire Nation. Now, that is what makes that mask so powerful, so iconic for Zuko. To amplify everything and round up everything, I've added in the insignia, the emblem of the Fire Nation, down at the bottom. Now we move into value and grayscale. Using the lasso tool, I've just blocked in the flat values to indicate the sky, background, mid-ground, and foreground. Okay, next up, I spent a lot of time rendering the main figure, which is the blue spirit. What's important is that, uh, to keep in mind, that uh, you have to separate the materials at this point and uh, to show the lighting, light sources, uh, rim lights and all that. So to separate materials, I have uh, the material of cloth, which is his clothing, and of course metal, uh, like his bracers, his sword, and especially his mask. Now according to the cartoon series, uh, his mask is not made out of wood, it's made out of metal, so I have to put that you know, into consideration. Next up, I have put more uh, detail into the debris to indicate uh, materials as well, wood and metal. And I've spent more time on this guy. It's still quite rough, actually. Nothing fancy there. Okay, now here I have put a lot of time into the clouds, but it's still kind of all over the place. Uh, another major thing that I've done is uh, I've made the tower of the Paul High Fortress smaller. Uh, to indicate distance and the size of the tower compared to the hill on the mountain next to it. And I've also resized the uh, wooden plating of the Fire Nation airship to make it bigger to indicate that, you know, it used to be a big, big airship. It, it is a big, big airship, actually. So I, I'm glad I made that change. Finally, when I'm happy with my grayscale position and sizing of everything, I move on to color. So what I did here is I add a new layer on top of everything else and I set it to overlay, multiply or color. And then I add my base colors in. Things will look desaturated at first, uh, not to worry. Uh, that's what happens when you start things off with grayscale. Then I go on and level out uh, some values to make things a bit dim and darker. This is not very smart because uh, when you level things a bit too bright or a bit too dark you start to lose quality and some details in some parts but i think to set the mood uh, i did that as a case the next thing is i added in some bling uh, to the metal to show that it is metal and i've added in some rim lights to his uh, to the pose to the blue spirit uh, this is where i start to have the idea of adding in uh, fire because after adding in some rim lights like uh, the brown on the wooden plate uh, it starts to give me an idea that what if there's fire on the ground, you know, that the wooden plate is reflecting, that, you know, the metals around it is reflecting. That will add a bit more uh, definition to the debris itself. Now, okay, so here I've decided to go with the fire. Uh, and, uh, of course, I've amplified everything. The lighting, the light source of the fire, uh, reflecting off the metal, of the blades, of the... Uh, propeller and the wooden plates as well. Now the next thing I've really gone all out and uh, make everything more uh, vibrant with the fire and I've also added um, fire in the background like in uh, Poor Hawaii Fortress and also behind the Fire Nation ship. So it makes the Fire Nation ship pops out a bit more because uh, before this it, it's kind of blended in with the background. So I think this is uh, a good decision that I've made here. So finally we have a very big skip here. Uh, the most noticeable thing that I've done is of course I've added in uh, the layer of smoke and the floating embers around uh, and also I've added in more debris and cluster a bit of junk on the ground as well because I think previously it was a bit too clean because you know right after the crash things won't be clean at all. Uh, I think that was the mistake I made there. So I'm pretty happy with how um, things are right now. Things are very messy, uh, very chaotic. And um, I've also added in the fire effect 
on his hand because Corvo on the Dishonored piece, the reference that I'm using, he has the blink effect on his hand and I think it's only fair to add it here as well. Now this is against all the laws of the Blue Spirit because the Blue Spirit doesn't fire ban, it's, it's not what he do. So don't hang me for that. <laughs> I know what's going on. Uh, I also think that uh, it's a good decision because uh, it gives the mask, the blue mask, a bit more definition. Uh, between the greenish blue and the fiery red, it makes the mask pop up a bit more. Now I also played with the color balance and leveling a little bit. So uh, the shadows are a bit cooler, so it's not very grey. And... Uh, fire is a bit more saturated and vibrant. So there you have it guys, this is the final uh, result for the Dishonored Blue Spirit. I hope you enjoyed my step-by-step -step and my thought process on how I did this painting. If you want to check everything out, um, there are links down in the description below. If you enjoyed watching, uh, consider subscribing. I plan to do more of this and you can check out more of my videos on my channel. My name is Brandon and I'll see you all next time.